Um, sorry about that. Uh, this will be part two. Okay. As I said before, this has got nothing to do with Trump. And, and you know, um, I just saw some uh, some scenes where people in Chicago who are very upset about the the illegal alien uh, taking precedent over their lives that he said, I'm voting for Trump. And um, there are so many others, you know, who are voting for Trump. So many people voting for Trump because they see this, what's going on here. And um, it is just absolutely unbelievable. But now even I'm at risk because somebody can sue me because they don't like me or you know it's and another thing not only was Trump bored in that courtroom he was also freezing because he said when he stepped out to speak to the cameras he said it was absolutely freezing in that courthouse he was Freezing cold. He must have had the air conditioner on full blast or something, you know. And it's wind. It was windy outdoors. It's April, so it's not like it's summer, you know. Uh, I don't know why the courthouse would have, you know, the air conditioner at uh, frigid temperatures, but that's what's going on here. I wonder if they did that deliberately to sort of tame uh, Trump into being um, weak or you know, cool him down or something. Um I think, I think today he should get a big heavy coat to put on, you know, uh, he can always plan ahead on stuff like that. But all in all, you know, this is a travesty in America right now. It really is. And so I, I can see them celebrating. I could see, you know, especially on the propaganda channels like MSNBC or CNN, they're now salivating. It's like, ooh, yummy, yummy. We got him in court. We got him in court. Oh, we finally got him. So this Trump derangement syndrome, this hatred, it is so unbecoming. It is so unbecoming. You know, you know, it's just, but yeah, they could come after me. They could come after you. They could come after anybody now. If they don't like you, they could come after you. And this is what happens in a communist, fascist, um, yeah, Marxist country. And that's what they're trying to turn America into. A Marxist, communist, fascist country where 
they can stifle opposing thought. If you don't get with the program, and somebody said that the cancel culture is setting the stage for actual murder. Political murder. Because they go after somebody, get them fired, you know, uh, uh, banks can be, and I've seen this happen. I saw a news report about this happening where a bank, especially I think in what is a capital or chase or one of those banks, Bank of New York, Bank of America, one of those banks, they, they, all they got to know is that you're a conservative and they can quote unquote debank you, refuse your, uh, uh, refuse you as a um, customer. And, and I know that when I went for a, a job a, a job interview with a bank and I had a year and a half experience at Village Savings Bank under my belt as experience as a teller and I sat down the interview and they told me to my face your year and a half experience as a bank teller makes you ineligible to be a teller at our bank. They told me that to my face, and I knew what they meant. It had nothing to do with my experience. It had nothing to do with the fact uh, uh, that they didn't have to train me. I mean, they might have to uh, um, uh, update me or adapt me over to their system, but that would be like nothing. But no, it had nothing to do with that. It was a fact that I was a big guy. That was a big guy. That didn't bother uh, 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 Village Savings. Village Savings had no trouble with me being a big guy because they were non-discriminatory. That's what they're doing now. And they're doing it very, um, on a grander scale, you know, with now political leanings. Now it's no longer that you're big, that they can deny you service. Uh, I know that they've denied me because I have outstanding loans or I have outstanding judgments because my health went bad and as a result bank accounts went into the negative and I owe banks and said well I'm sorry but you owe this bank and you owe this bank I'm sorry we can't give you an account that I can understand that I can understand and all I have to do is just make good with those and I can hopefully get another account but they're not doing that. They may do that, yes. But now they've added more to their repertoire of denials. Because now they can, what religion are you? I'm not saying they're doing this, but it's, I, I fear it's gonna start. What religion are you? What are your political leanings? Are you a Republican? You know, are you conservative? I'm sorry, but we can't give you an account on our bank. And they have a right to do that, I guess, because for the same reason that 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 bakery didn't want to do a, a, a cake for that gay couple. And you know, instead of suing the bakery, go to another bakery! 
what the hell is wrong with these people? It, it's it's sickness. It's the disease. It's the cancer that's happening in our country. Where we have entitlement and anger and revenge that we have to sue somebody. And instead of having instead okay, this is this is what I said before about the difference between liberals and conservatives and Republicans and, and Democrats. That the liberal rules with their emotions over their intellect. So they're a fool. And I believe that's what he was. Because instead of thinking with their head, instead of their emotions, I'd say, you know what? The heck with them. Let's go to another bakery. They're not the only bakery in town. We can go to another bakery. That's why there's lots of them. I mean, that bakery doesn't have a monopoly on bakeries. I know in, where I lived growing up, there were tons of bakeries around. One bakery didn't want to serve you, you just go to another bakery. What's a big damn deal? No, but these people got insulted and offended. No, you owe us service. We demand service. We're the customer and we demand service. Did we do anything for you yet? No. Then you're not uh, in the negative or anything. You don't have to become whole. Uh, uh, nothing's been done. We don't owe you anything. Please go to another bakery. Thank you very much. They didn't want to do that. They wanted to make a point or feel vindicated or or just want to feel um, oh, I can't think of the word. But Instead of, you know, hurting them because they hurt our feelings, we're going to hurt them and we're going to sue them and we're going to kill them and slaughter them because they hurt our itty bitty feelings. No, what you do as an adult, as a mature grown up, is go to another bakery. But because there's so much of this anger, you know. But anyway, it, it's all part of the same insanity that has gripped our society right now. That we have to live among us. And because that's basically what they can do. They didn't like what that bakery did to them. So they sued them. And now with Trump in the courthouse, in the courtroom, it's, it's open season for anybody, anybody. And it's, this is going to be very bad for our country. It really is. And the whole world is watching, by the way. I mean, we've already shown that we are now a paper tiger. You know, Biden said, don't, they did. And now Biden says, oops, now what do I do? Because he didn't think that. Because don't, 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 don't. And they did. 
damn, I didn't think they would. I thought dope was a strong enough word. But it's, they're looking at us like a joke. And that's why Trump can't come back soon enough for us. Because, and anybody who supports Trump or endor- uh, Biden, I'm sorry, anybody who, who um, supports or endorses Biden, like the Kennedys are doing, and you know, uh, you, you, what you're what you're endorsing is you are saying you love the way the country is now. You love this uh, inflation. You love our weakness on the world stage. You love people suffering. Because this isn't against Trump. Because you're not saying, oh, I'm endorsing you because I, I'm not endorsing Trump. No. No. Trump's got nothing to do with your endorsing Biden. You're endorsing Biden because you like what he's doing to this country. You like the inflation. You like the lawlessness, all the murders. You love how much the illegal aliens, how many have infiltrated our cities and make life difficult for us. You love the high spending of of, of, uh, Congress. You love all that. You support all of that. But not to do with Trump. Because you could be like The Rock. You could be like The Rock. The Rock first endorsed Biden. And then when he was recently interviewed, The Rock said, I don't like what's happening in our country right now. If I'd have known this was going to happen, I would never have endorsed Biden. And I'm not going to endorse Biden now. I'm not going to endorse Trump, but I'm not going to endorse Biden. And that's all it takes. But endorsing Biden, you're endorsing, you're endorsing inflation, uh, crime, high crime, you're endorsing our weakness on the world stage. That's what you're endorsing. You're endorsing and you're approving of our, our standing and our, and our status. That's what you're doing. When you endorse Biden, you are approving the way the country is right now. And Trump's got nothing to do with it. And to say, well, I'm doing this because I don't want Trump. No. Trump's got nothing to do with it. Trump's out of, Trump is not a factor. Trump has nothing to do with your endorsing Biden. Your choice is endorsing Biden. That's it. You want Biden. Because you cannot endorse anybody if you don't like our country right now. If you don't like the way the country is right now, you be like the rock and say, I don't endorse anybody. And you know what? That's smart to do that. Because, yes, you have a choice not to endorse Trump, and that's fine. You could say, I don't endorse Trump, but I also don't endorse Biden. I'm not endorsing anybody. That would be the smart, intelligent thing. If you're not for Trump, you should not be for Biden. Because if you're for Biden, then you are proving what Biden has done to this country. So be smart and be like The Rock, who said, I'm not doing any endorsements because I don't like the way this country is now. 
I don't like what Biden did to it. I'm not endorsing Biden. I'm not endorsing anybody. That's smart. The Rock is smart. He is smart. But the Kennedys who are endorsing Biden and and they're making an excuse by saying, well, we're endorsing Biden because we don't want Trump. No, Trump's got nothing to do with it. Trump's out of the picture. You're doing it because you like what Biden is doing to this country. So, anyway, I know this video is a little long. Uh, I just had a lot to talk about on this. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Thanks for listening. In. I'll see you later. Take care, guys. See you soon. Bye.